Mandela's daughter is selling his belongings. Nelson Mandela. The undisputed leader of the anti-apartheid movement, anti-racism is undisputed undisputed anti-apartheid leader Nelson Mandela's 70 personal items are being auctioned in the US by his daughter. Makazewe. But the South African government is trying to stop this controversial auction. Mandela's personal belongings up for auction include a pair of hearing aids, identity cards, gifts from world leaders and some of his clothing. Mandela's clothing includes his famous shirt. Mandela wore this shirt called, Madiba shirt, on special occasions. In 1998 and 2003, he also wore this dress when he met the Queen of Britain. On the evening of December 5, 2013, South African anti-apartheid leader Nelson Mandela, a symbol of peace, reconciliation and reconciliation, passed away in Johannesburg. South African government says Mandela's belongings are government property to stop auction of his daughter Makazu. According to the laws of the country, things that are part of the national heritage cannot be taken out of the country. The South African Heritage Resources Agency, SARA, the body responsible for safeguarding South Africa's heritage and culture, said it had appealed to the government to block Makazir's auction. It has been supported by the Ministry of Sports, Arts and Heritage of the country. The minister of this ministry G.G. Kadoia said that they have filed a case to protect the rich heritage of the country. He also said it was important to prevent Mandela's belongings from being sold at auction, because it is part of the South African tradition. It is important to preserve his legacy so that future generations of the country can experience his life. Earlier in 2021, the government opposed the sale of Mandela's personal belongings at auction. As a result, the 2022 auction got stuck. The case has been going on for two years. Last month Makazewe was granted permission to sell these items by the High Court in Pretoria. But the country's Ministry of Culture and Tourism has appealed against the verdict. Now that the government has appealed to the court, it is not clear whether the auction that started on January 22 will be held or not. Meanwhile, the New York Auction House has completed preparations for the Guernsey Auction.